Tony, uh, how would you characterize mm. uh, the 62 shot today? Yeah, it was really good. You know, I, I hit it, uh, hit it nicely. I thought I just took the momentum that I had from yesterday. You know, I finished five under my last nine yesterday, and um, I just rolled that momentum right into today. I thought I made a huge putt for par on number one, and then I was kind of off to the races. You know, I almost made hole in one on number two, and um, and just kind of cruising from there. But uh, it was it was a really really nice round of golf. After missing the cut last week, did you work on anything in, uh, before you came here? To maybe did you see this kind of coming these two days? Um, I mean, you always hope that you see, you know see some good golf coming. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't take a day off from last week until this week. Uh, just meaning I wanted to just be sharp. You know, I, I was um, not very sharp last week. You know, I played some good stretch of golf mixed with a lot of bad stretches of golf. So I just wanted to be a little sharper and play some better golf in um, within myself. And, and I've been able to do that these first couple of days. Did you? Uh, Get into this what we would call a zone. Are you, are you in a zone? Is this the best patch of golf you've play, ever played, perhaps? Just over it in a tiny um, sampling. I mean, that's definitely some great scoring. You know, obviously <laughs> winning back to back on the tour. That's probably well, yeah. You know, that's probably right right at the top for as far as so far in my career. But um, this was a nice stretch. I think these last 27 holes is pretty impressive. On this golf course, you know, it's not a golf course where we're playing practice rounds and we're like we're going to light this place up, right? So. Um, for sure out there today, I, I do feel like I was in that zone and, and just able to um, execute golf shots. And um, at, the end of, at the end of the day, it rounded up to 62. You said yesterday that, you know, yeah, you're finishing late and then starting early, not much turnaround time. It was going to make dinner feel better. So two part question, what'd you have for dinner? And uh, it, is it sometimes good to have, to have that late finish and quick start so the, the momentum never, never goes away even though you go to sleep for a few hours? Yeah, my, my favorite tee time always is late early. Um, if you're playing bad, you get get it over with fast. If you're playing good, you ride the momentum right into the next day. And so it proved to be true, you know, this week. Um, I, ate, I ate this spot, I think it's called Blue Blue Fish Sushi. Okay. Literally like a mile from here on yeah, Was yeah, Washington yeah, Street. Yeah, sure. yeah, good place. Um, so yeah, it was good. Obviously you know. it settled. Yeah, obviously it worked, settled okay and worked okay. I, <laughs> I actually had to use a restroom right off the gate, right after that's a P, uh, PJ Tour player's nightmare, being on the first tee and having to go to the bathroom. So I can't say that I actually sat the best, but it worked out. It turned out fine. That's right. What did, what did, we always talked about, you know, you, you, you did one win, then you went back to back last year. What did that teach you about your game that maybe has kind of helped you kind of going forward from, from, that, from that stretch? Yeah, winning just breeds confidence, you know. Um, I've always felt like I was confident to win, but uh, you got to do it. You got to make it happen. And um, having done that, you know, back to back, it just I think it just breeds confidence into my my more into my belief into my game and um and i would say that's uh that's been a nice part over over these last couple of years is just getting more comfortable and you know at the top of the leaderboard but you know i just i always am trying to get better and each day that's all you that's all you can ask of yourself is just try and push yourself to to be the best that you can be and and the result of that is i think i've been better each each year of my career and each season and hopefully i continue that trend you have you have uh obviously put yourself in contention to win a lot of tournaments and now you are starting to win tournaments was the issue uh, strictly mental or there were there technical problems with your game that you think you sort you've sorted out yeah yeah both um you know i think those both of them go hand in hand but uh technical wise you know i i'm putting it better than i've ever put it more consistently and i know that's the part of my game that i've always needed to be better at and and so that on the technical side for sure but uh, the beliefs there because of um, some of the success I've had over the last, you know, 16 months uh, of my career, and um, put myself in another nice situation this week. How do you get yourself better as a putter, though? Because that seems to be so cerebral. Yeah. Well, I think the main ingredient is believe you're a good putter. I always have. You know, I, I don't. Uh, when I go through a bad putting stretch, I don't look at myself and say, "Wow, you're a terrible putter." Um, you know, I haven't been scared to tinker, um, but. One of my goals this year is to not switch my putting grip. So that was a goal last year, and, and, and I followed through with it, and it's another goal this year. How many times have you switched in your career, would you say? Uh, I've, I've used about, I mean, I've got the pencil grip. I've had the, I went cross hand, <laughs> different conventional. I mean, I've used about four different grips. And which one are you in now? Just conventional. Conventional, okay. Yeah. I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Tony. Thanks.